Hey Libra, this reads for you guys. Let's go ahead and, and jump on in. We'll see what the universe has to say to you guys today. So universe, what messages do you have for Libra? You got some guidance. Ooh. I feel like this one wants to come out. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get going here. So that was the fertility card. I have spiritual union, balance, transformation and choose wisely so i feel like we're definitely going to be speaking about a romance and growing a romantic relationship here i'm going to keep pulling cards just to clarify some of the others here we'll keep building on this read i have awareness i have moving on i have the heart chakra which uh it represents healing and relationships love begins and I have the chakra uh, that speaks to emotions and desires so I'm feeling like we have we have an, a relationship right now and we're having to to leave some baggage in the past that's what I'm feeling like feeling like we got some leftover hurts that might be weaseling their way into this relationship and that's what the moving are moving on card speaks of as well as the heart chakra i think it not only speaks of this relationship but of healing from a past relationship i'm gonna keep pulling cards to clarify and we'll just keep building on this story here Uh, he tends to represent a situation where you feel like something was taken from you unfairly. Um, you know, like you caught the short end of the stick on that one. I caught the four of cups. The four of cups represents a feeling of indifference, but also emotional withdrawal. And I feel like um, I feel like that's what you're having a tendency to do here. Maybe there's some. There's some issues from the past that are causing you to have trouble to fully commit to this relationship, to allow yourself to fully commit to this relationship. I have the seven of wands, which represents um, standing up for your ideals and drawing your line in the sand. To me, it represents communicating your fears to your partner. And I have the strength card to me, it means two things in this read. It speaks of the inner strength that you're going to need to be able to have this conversation with your partner and be open and honest about your thoughts and your feelings. Um, but it also represents the strength of your relationship and the strength of your bond with this new partner that I think is actually going to deepen by opening up to them and allowing them to help you heal and move on from it. I feel like you're going to be learning a lot of life lessons from this and learning about about a lot about your partner um, in this process as well and what kind of a person they are so i have the nine of swords and the ten of swords which i think are tied in together in this read the nine of swords tends to represent a feeling feeling trapped in in thoughts negative thoughts and negative emotions uh, to me it represents fear and confusion being trapped in uh, the ten of swords represents something ending in a disappointing way uh, but you see the light around the swords that actually represents that even though this end sucked uh, it actually benefited you in the long run because it allowed you to meet this new person this spiritual union, this maybe even soulmate, this good person, because I think you have a good one now. But I think you were very confused and upset as to why the relationship ended, and I think you internalized it and thought it was about you. Um, I think it shook your confidence too and your ability to trust other people because of how much it hurt when things didn't go the way you wanted them to go. I have the Eight of Cups, which represents uh, starting a new bright journey and leaving the past behind. And you can see all the cups that he's left behind. And cups tend to represent emotion. 
So I feel like this card is speaking of you letting go of the past, past hurts, those past negative emotions, and being able to move, move on on a new positive journey with this new partner. I have the Six of Cups, um, and can we call the Blast from the Past card? So it can represent someone or something from your past um, coming back into your life. It can also represent learning lessons from the past or ones that you haven't learned um, coming back. You're repeating them until you until you get them right. And I think this this card represents lessons from the past, learning from these past experiences, being able to let go, of not letting any negative emotions cause a negative impact on this relationship. I have the Three of Pentacles, which represents uh, starting to see the fruits of your labor. And I think, I think as you start to let go of these negative emotions, you allow yourself to bond with this person and to trust this person. I think you're going to see the fruits of that quite quickly. You're going to be rewarded with all the positive feelings that go along with it. I have the Knight of Pentacles, um, which represents something you've been working towards for a long time, finally coming to fruition. And I to me it represents this being this being a journey for you that is not going to happen overnight um, it's going to be a bit of a process the queen of swords to me represents a clarity and a personal truth that you're going to find in all of this in overcoming the negativity that's that doubt The Ace of Wands, which represents uh, new beginnings. And to me, I see a passion in it. And I think by taking that leap of faith and learning how to trust this partner, like letting go of the negativity, letting go of, of the fears of the insecurities and being able to, to really give yourself emotionally to this person, to deepen the connection, it's gonna set a solid foundation for your future. Now I have the Six of Wands, which speaks of triumph. So I believe that speaks of the outcome that you're going to get from being able to do that here. I have the Page of Pentacles here. I just get, I get a learning vibe with him. Again, learning lessons from the past, learning not to hold back not to not to withdraw being able to to give in um i have the four of swords uh to me it represents a rest rejuvenate taking time uh, to soul search and i think that's part of what you're going to have to do too there'll be some some reflection on your own behavior your own emotions why you feel the way you feel uh, and then on your partner's behavior and being able to to judge them based on what you've seen, what they've shown you. I have the Nine of Pentacles, which speaks of abundance. And when I look at her, usually the Pentacles speak of finance, but I just see happiness. So I think this speaks um, more on a personal level and the happiness, happiness that's going to come from you learning to let go and allowing yourself to bond with this person emotionally. And these cards definitely speak of that as well. I, I pulled emotional withdrawal, um, victory and success, trapped in fear in the crown chakra, uh, which can speak to a spirituality. To me, it speaks of a deeper learning and a soul searching here. And it ties in with the trapped in fear and emotional withdrawal. And being able to, to see... To see your way through to a new way of being and letting go of these old hurts, letting go of the past so that you can move forward and you can build on this new relationship and allow yourself um, to have a real deep connection with this person that I believe you have a, a very good chance with. It looks like very positive aspect at all the cards that I saw showed that this person you could have a very deep long-term connection with and this could be very successful. Uh, this is just gonna depend on whether you can let go of your past hurts, uh, whether you can unpack that baggage and, and let it go and move on. 
I think if you do, you'll definitely, the victory and success card speaks of, of what you'll get at the end of it all. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I love hearing from you guys. Take care.